Hi, my name is Steve, a uh, teacher of uh, physics and mathematics. I just want to have a quick uh, checkup of something, uh, a very important tool in, in sciences, the three sciences, physics, biology, and, uh, and uh, chemistry. I have a site here that I have found to be very helpful uh, for science teachers, especially for practicals. It's a very important tool to illustrate. And of course, um, uh, the reason why I find it very interesting is because uh, not all students are able to access um, the lab, the physical lab, apparatus and, and everything. Yet practical is, is a very important part of uh, uh, science. So I have a site here uh, that I will share the link in the box. So you make sure you check it. Uh, because it's a very important tool. It can be accessed by anyone, the science teachers and even the students. So you can look at it and you can give me your feedback. I I'll really appreciate to get your feedback on how the site is helpful. So I have a site here that is called um, uh, the Lab Exchange and I will open it. And this is how uh, the homepage looks like. Is a very important site and you have so many things here but i want to focus um, on just a specific area so i'll go to subject then below there you have the three subjects the sciences the biology chemistry and physics and many other things so if you click biology you'll see all the practicals that we have in biology and uh, and if you go to chemistry you have all the practicals if you go to physics, you have all the practicals here. So if I open any of them, it will be able to show me the practicals related to uh, these, this headings here. You can be able to give me all the practicals related to that. Cutting across uh, all the forms or all the grades from form one, form two, form three, form four. And even with um, grade uh, seven, eight and nine, this is a very important tool. It can be able to illustrate to learners without them really going to, to the lab. And it's something that you can carry in class. So if you have a projector, you can illustrate how you can be able to carry out experiment and giving the feedback uh, to the learners. So if I have a quick check of um, a physics, I just want to pick one topic. All, the, all these topics, they have... Um, all the practicals related to, to all the topics. For example, if I open magnetic field, the site will open and give me all the topics that have magnetic field. Um, they will show me here, a very good illustration here. Uh, if I want to pick any other, it will show me all the practicals. So if I go back one step, then I pick just a simple uh, practical, for example, I pick that of form one. I want to just illustrate how you can be able to, to have a circuit. So I'll pick one of the experiments here. Let me just try to construct a, a circuit here. So if I open that one, then this is what it will open. Then you have uh, this part, uh, start simulation, you, um, uh, simulation. If I click that part, uh, it will direct me to a different area. Uh, be able to carry out the experience. So I'll wait for some minutes, less than one minute actually, and the site opens and you, you can tap either this or this. Let me go with the second one. I open that one. Now this is the page. Uh, this is how the page looks like. This is like the table. Uh, whatever you're having here is like the table. Now the, the experiment will be carried out on this um, area, the space that you've been provided here. Uh, on your left, you have the components of a circuit. You have a wire, you have a battery, you have a bulb, resistant uh, switch, and many other. Yeah, this arrow that moves down here shows you many other components that you can add in your circuit. Um, below here, uh, you have, um, below here, I mean, you have uh, a way you want your circuit to look like. Is it you want to have in terms of symbols? or even the pictures of, of what you want from your circuit. Um, on my right, you have another um, box here, the two of them, which are again very important. I will show you how this one works. So if I have a quick um, 
uh, make of, of, of a circuit, I'll come and pick. So I, I, I right click, I, I left click, then I drag uh, whatever I am having a, a wire here. I put in that circuit. I can stretch this wire the way I want. I can turn it the way I want. So I have it like that. Then let me pick uh, two dry cells. I drag them uh, there. Then I have another cable like that. I can put uh, a switch maybe like that. Whatever you want to put in your in your in your circuit, you can you can pick it here. Um, I have another uh, take another wire there, and uh, I can stretch this one a little bit. Let me increase the the the, the working space. The one that I'm having here. Uh, then I put a load here. A, a load here is like the bulb that I'm having here. Uh, then I put another uh, wire there. These are cables uh, like that. I can choose. Let me just add a resistor somewhere there. Resistance just want to, to see uh, what will happen um, with that. Um, I, I can put another wire there. Uh, like that, uh, stretch it a little bit. Then what is remaining um, in my circuit? I can add anything that I want. I think I've put a resistor. Uh, you have them there. Then I add one cable from this particular end. This is, is very important. Imagine you're illustrating to learners how they can be able to connect uh, a circuit here. So you have it uh, like that. Uh, if I want to remove anything, this symbol here, just uh, left click there and uh, I cut it. If I cut like that, it will open and I remove what I do not, I do not need. So that is how a circuit looks like. Um, so that um, you have that one. Um, if I want to, uh, to close the, the circuit, I have a switch here. Let me drag my bulb a little bit, no, not my bulb, my dry cells a little bit lower. Uh, then that is how my circuit looks like. I want to see whether it will work. Um, if I close my, uh, my switch, that is what uh, happens. So it means that circuit is okay. If, if, if there is a problem along this, um, in this circuit, then it won't work. For example, if I try to, uh, to open there, then I, try to disconnect this one and I put this dry cell in the wrong way. So I put it like that. Let me see whether uh, it, it will work well. Whether uh, if, of course, here yeah, I've created a problem here. I want to observe whether it will, it will work. So if I close like that, uh, it means that there is a problem somewhere. So it, it's, it's really uh, a very open thing that student can be able to, to learn from it. So you can tell them to check whether there is a problem somewhere. And of course, my inner credit problem there. So let me return it the way it was. I take uh, that dry cell and I put it like that. Dry cells are supposed to be in series with each other. And you can see the bulb is, is, is working. If I want to add um, uh, dry cells, if I want to add dry cells here, I can come and add uh, the dry cell that I have here. And uh, uh, I see how that one um, looks like. So I have that one. I have my dry cell like that. And you can see the light is increasing. So if I open like that, you can see the bulb goes off. So this this is what you, you might need in your circuit. Uh, below here, you have uh, something important again, a very important tool. Uh, you can see whatever you're having here, a student can easily relate what you're having. This is a dry cell, it's a picture of a dry cell. So it's, it's, a, it's a source of uh, power here. You have a resistor, you have a wire here. But if I want to use symbol, which most of the time we use symbols in in, um, in our in practical, we don't draw these diagrams. So I can just click that part and I'm having a symbol for that, a symbol for, for every component of this uh, circuit. Um, so we are having something like that. All right, if I want to add a, a voltmeter, I can take a voltmeter there and I connect maybe across the, um, my source of power, the dry cells, 
I can connect the way I want. If I want to know the voltage across the um, the bulb, I can do that. If I want to put the ammeter, I can still do that. I think I'd forgotten to put these are very important uh, component. Let me add an ammeter here. Uh, that part here, a circuit is not complete without an ammeter. So I can add it uh, that part. Uh, I think uh, let me have it straight so that um, I have it straight like that. Um, uh, let me have it like that uh, so that at least it makes sense for me. Uh, good, so you have it uh, like that. Yes, you have an ammeter and if I close my switch, that is what uh, that is what happens. If I want to see the symbols, that is how uh, it would go. So you have that one. Uh, look at how my circuit looks like. If I want to have, when I click this one, this is, these are electrons, how the electrons are moving. And you can see their direction, how the electrons are, are moving from the source of, uh, of power. And if I want to to see conventional currents. You can see where the conventional current is moving. So this one was supposed to be uh, to be somewhere there. Uh, conventional currents. Then if I want to have the values uh, in my circuit, I can put like that. I have connected a 10 ohm resistor uh, and the bulb, the internal resistance of, of this bulb we are having uh, like uh, that. So this is how the site looks like, a very, very important tool, very interesting yeah, that learners can be able to interact with. So I would uh, be glad to hear from you if you interact with it, to see how uh, it works for you. It's a very important tool. It's, it's, it's a virtual lab, not really a, a physical one, a virtual lab. So I would wish to get your comment, your feedback on this a very important tool uh, for science teachers, for practicals, where they cannot be able to access the lab, they can. Please feel free uh, to give me your feedback and even to subscribe to my channel so that if I post something new, you can be able to, to see um, any material that I uh, post there. Uh, thank you so much. Um, I'm glad that you're watching.